we're going thermal. What's up guys, thanks for joining another episode of Cars, Bikes, and Coffee, where we like to save and restore cars. My name is Kurt, and we are taking a look at the Perfect Prime IR0005 thermal imaging camera. We're gonna be using this camera for our build of the 260Z. If you haven't seen any of those videos, hit the link above. But we're gonna use that for any troubleshooting we need to do in the build and also the tuning. And this can be also used for our shop cars or any of our other personal cars for finding out problems such as catalytic converter, wiring or power problems. And there's a multitude of reasons why you would want this in your toolbox. So let's first, Unbox it. Now that we have it unboxed, let's take a look at it. The first thing I want to do is take a look at the startup time. If we take a look at the menu, the first option is image registration, and we did that by pressing the menu button. If we press select, what this does is allow us to align the video camera with the thermal camera by pressing the up and down arrows and not sure if the camera picks that up but that way you can align them and when you're done you press select enter next option is images these are the images that you have saved and you have done that by pressing the function button as shown earlier that's an image of a wall as a sample then you step out of that by pressing the select enter button. Going down is color palettes, and these are different types of color palettes that you can use to display the different heat. You have spectra, iron, cool, white, or black. And to take a look at the white option, black being the coolest, white being the hottest. Stepping out of that by pressing the menu button again, we went into Spectra. Now you'll notice the center point gives a temperature reading and it also will give the hottest and the coolest temperature reading. And that can be changed both from Celsius to Fahrenheit in the settings. The next option is emissivity. Emissivity is basically the surface of a material's effectiveness in emitting energy as a thermal radiation. So different surfaces react differently. In the instruction manual, you do have a table that you can use to look up, but most things that you would be looking at, like skin, walls, or wood, or metal, all are similar. The next option in the menu is settings, and in settings you can adjust auto shutdown. I would suggest turning that off in the setting it is set already to five minutes and it will just shut down on you right at five minutes. The next is it brightness or the intensity of the screen. You can change languages, English, Chinese, Italian, or German. You can adjust the unit of the, whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, as well time format, whether you want 24 hours or AM, PM. You can of course set the time, you can set the spot, whether it's on or off, and that's the center spot. And this just tells you what version firmware you're using. A couple more features. If you were to press up on the navigation button, the bottom appears and shows your max and minimum, and as well the time. Pressing it up once again makes the bottom bar hide. Now as well, hitting the left and the right navigation buttons changes the fusion 
from zero to 100%. And this is, as you can see, using just the video camera. And now bowl thermal. So we're here out with the truck and one of the ways you can use the thermal imaging camera is if you had a circuit that was open and was running, you could go through and scan and look over the relays and possibly the fuses and see if maybe one of your circuits is open. Cross-reference it, of course, with the grid. But that's one of the many uses. Now, of course, we're going to see more of this tool when we work on the Datsun 260Z engine. But one of the ways you can also look is if you had a misfire or a running rough engine, you could take a look at the headers and see if you had a cooler temperature on one of the runners. And another one is on the coil packs. If let's say you had a misfire, you could take a look at the temperature sensor and see if maybe one was colder than the others. In this case, we have a V8, so you know if the three on this bank were warmer and then one was not, you could trace that problem down. Another is heated seats. If you were having a problem where one seat or a part of the seat was cooler, you could trace down where that problem is. In this case, it's blowing air, so that's kind of interesting, and in my case, you can see that it's a little hotter on top and then blowing on the bottom this seems to be a little weaker on the left side than the right just skim the surface of how you can use the thermal imaging camera for your diagnostics on your vehicle so the Perfect Prime IR0005 thermal imaging camera, which I will leave the link in the description below, definitely is gonna help us as we build out our 260Z. So stay tuned for that. Definitely gonna be using this for the engine building and the electrical assembly. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys like what you see, consider subscribing, smash that like button, hit that bell, and have a good one.